moving forward with our factoring. So far in our factoring toolbox, we know how to factor out GCF. That's always our number one go-to. If we have four terms, we know how to factor by grouping. And if we have three terms where the leading coefficient is one of our x squared, so this three terms is our ax squared plus or minus bx plus or minus c. When a equals one, we can use that shortcut. But what happens when a doesn't equal one? That's what we're going to look at today. So we're going to go through a couple of examples explaining the process. The process doesn't really change a whole lot from what we already know. Like I said, we're going to be factoring by grouping. We know how to do that. There's just one thing that we've got to learn. All right, so we're going to look at a couple of examples and see how you feel. So we're going to start with this example. So 3b squared plus 5b minus 8. All right. If we go through our checklist, can I factor out a GCF? 3, 5, and negative 8, nothing in common. They don't all have Vs. I can't factor anything out. So now what do I do? Does it have four terms? Nope. Moving forward. Okay. Is the leading coefficient 1? Nope. Moving forward. We're ready to do this new little twist. So what we're going to do in our original factoring, we looked at the factors of 8 to try to equal 5. Factors of 8, 1 and 8, and 2 and 4. Signs are opposite, larger is positive. So that would be a positive 8, positive 4, negative 1, negative 2. That's going to give me a 7 or 2, but not 5. So what do I do? Okay, Because of this 3, it's going to change things up just a little bit. So instead of factoring my 8, what we're going to do is I'm going to take 3 and I'm going to multiply it to 8. 3 times 8, negative 8, gives me negative 24. So instead of factoring 8, we're going to factor negative 24. That's the only difference. We're using this number as a reference to find our factors. So factors of 24, 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. I think we're solid there. Again, signs are opposite. Larger one is positive. So which set's going to give me my positive 5? That's going to be my negative 3 and my positive 8. And then we just rewrite it. Okay? So now I have 3b squared minus 3b plus 8b minus 8. So we use the 3b squared, the negative 8, and we split the 5 using our factors from our reference number. And then it's just factoring by grouping. I group, okay, here I have a 3b in common, which leaves me with b minus 1. Here I have a positive 8 in common, which leaves me with b minus 1. So together we have the b minus 1. And I'm left with 3b plus 8. Just to show that that works, we'll go ahead and FOIL that back out. 3b times 3 is 3b squared. Check. b times 8 is positive 8b. Check. Negative 1 times 3b is negative 3b. Check. And negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. If we combine like terms, I get 3b squared plus 5b minus 8, which is my original polynomial. So just to kind of summarize what we just did here, first thing we're going to do, so our first step, is that we're going to take a times c. That's my first step. And then we're going to find the factors of a times c. Factors of a times c, we're still going to figure out what combines to equal our b term. So remember that b term is our middle term here, in this case 5. And then we rewrite, and then we're ready to factor by grouping. So, 
we've got an example here. We'll run through one more, and then um, I'll get you some more examples on another video. All right. So here's our next example. Lost my good markers. Found one. Okay. So this one we're going to look at is 3n squared minus n minus 30. 3n squared minus n minus 30. Again, we can go through our checklist here. No GCF, not four terms. My leading coefficient isn't 1. So we're here and we're ready to factor by grouping. And here are my steps to do so. First thing I'm going to do is take a times c. a times c, and I get 90. This is negative, so you can go ahead and include that negative. We're looking at a negative 90. We're going to find the factors of that number, whatever that a times c is. We're going to find the factors of 90. In this case, there's going to be a pretty substantial list because it's a big number. So we got 9 and 10, 1 and 90, 3 and 30, 2 and 45, um, 5 goes in there. 18 times, 6 goes in there, 15 times, 7, 8, uh, I think we're good. Pretty substantial list there, okay? This negative tells me my signs are opposite, and the larger factor is going to be negative. So I'm going to go ahead and make the larger factor negative. And I need a set that equals negative 1, so I'm going to use 9 and negative 10. So my 9 and negative 10 combine to equal b, so now I'm ready to rewrite. Now I have 3n squared plus 9n minus 10n minus 30. And I'm ready to factor by grouping. My first two terms have a 3n in common, which leaves me with n plus 3. My second two terms have a negative 10 in common, which leaves me with an n plus 3. So together, we have an n plus 3, and I'm left with 3n minus 10. Boom. Okay. Good luck. Check out the next video for some more examples.